Hi guys. So I tried filming this video yesterday, but for some reason all of the videos that I filmed um, or all the footage was like a second long and didn't get everything that actually showed you guys for Kaysen's, um actual gifts. So I figured I would try again. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that Kaysen got for Christmas today. Um, or for Christmas in general. Um, some of these gifts are going to be wrapped so I won't be able to show everything that he got. But this is pretty much the gist of everything he did get from at least me and Cody. Um, technically we are, we are going to be those parents that are having him believe in Santa. So technically these gifts are from Santa. So he probably won't know until he's a lot older. But right now, this is just everything we got, and some of these gifts are stuff that other people got him. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. This is currently how we have Kaysen's like actual gifts from us and from other people that we already unwrapped. Um, he does have some under the Christmas tree that we have it unwrapped because we're gonna unwrap it tomorrow. Um, and then one came from his aunt, so I know what it is, but I just left it in the back, so I figured that I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there, but this is the actual gift basket that we have for him, um, from me and his dad. And there's Casey right now, he's in his rocker, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this video again, and hopefully it goes well, because for some reason yesterday it did not. Okay, so some of these gifts, um, just to kind of like let you guys know that you guys already saw in my vlog. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this video is not to kind of brag about what I got my son. It's pretty much to give people ideas, uh, maybe for next year for their baby, or I know it's like last minute. If you are going last minute shopping, maybe, maybe you guys can use this stuff for yourself for Christmas. Um, or for like an after Christmas gift, who knows. Um, but initially me and Cody were not trying to get um, Case in any real Christmas gifts. We were just trying to get stuff that he may need. So the majority of these are stuff that we do need and other stuff are kind of stuff that we just got. So yeah. So the first thing that we got Case in, um, you guys saw this in my last vlog. He loves blankets. I love putting blankets on him, especially because we live in such a cold climate area. Um, I figured that it's better if we do go ahead and get him a blanket for Christmas, even though he does have a lot, but I've been wanting this one for him for so long, and I've seen it at Target so many times, and I finally got my hands on it because I just thought it was so cute, and I got it. So, I got him a I Love You blanket, um, if you guys saw his newborn photo when he was first born and I took a picture with him and his name tag. He has a shirt that actually has the same print that says I love you and that's the main reason why I got this blanket was because this is the same print in just a blanket form. And it is from Target, it is from the Cloud Island brand. Um, I forget if this is $20 or $14.99, I don't think it's $20, I think it's actually $15, but um, this is a blanket that I got and it does have that really soft material right here and it is just soft in general so I'm really excited for him to be use this especially in his car seat because every morning when I go to work it's just so cold so I figured that this would be a great blanket to have for him in the morning or when we're on road trips or just when we're at home lounging around so yeah. Then another thing that I got him was that I figured that he would need or that we needed was a new um, changing table cover. The reason why I got this one was because it's blue, it matches everything else he has in his room and then it is also wipeable so it's not just like this material, it is actually a wipeable material also. So that's why I really wanted to get this one and I saw it three weeks ago on clearance or I think it was two weeks ago, I don't remember, I go to Target a lot, but um, I remember that it was on clearance and it's like, oh, I, w I hope they still have it on clearance so I can get it. And then I went to Target when I was buying Kaysen's gifts and then I ended up finding it again on clearance. So yeah, really it was a steal, I had to get it. Um, and especially because it's wipeable and it's not just this material, so it'll be super easy to finally change his diaper. Um, and I don't have to use like a burping cloth or um, not a burping cloth, but one of those receiving blankets under him so that we don't have like throw up or anything like that on the changing table and have to keep washing it. So this is convenient. 
And then one thing that we did go ahead and get him that I honestly needed to be honest was the bibs pacifiers again. Um, again, to explain, my son does not like any other pacifier besides the bibs pacifier. Um, he does like the Avid ones a little bit in his Wobbana, but he does not hold it so well. So uh, we always use the bibs pacifier and these are what they look like. Um, I got it in the hunter green and a it's not like a gray color that he has but it's a brown color so i did go ahead and get this for him because again we needed more pacifiers and i don't know where cody did with the other one that we had it's somewhere in this house but i have no idea where it is so i bought him new ones um and i'm just gonna put on his pacifier clips so and yeah so Another thing too, these pacifiers are not very, very cheap. Um, most pacifiers are pretty cheap at like $6. Sometimes they come in like $4. I think the Avid ones are only $3, but these ones are $14.99. Um, I will say I do recommend it to people only because my son holds it very well. And if your son does not, if your son or your daughter does not hold the Avid one so well, I probably highly recommend getting the bibs one because there's something about the style of how it is and it tells in the box um, the way it is that way they can hold it in their mouth well but that's just my son too he just takes these better than the other ones so I highly recommend them even if they're pretty pricey in pacifiers oh and then speaking of like what the pacifiers so I saw this at Target and I've actually always wanted this style um, I was going to order one on Amazon, but I went to Target and I saw this and in the pacifier aisle, um, like the little kiosk area, and I was like, I have to get it. So I got this one. It's in the wood and white. It's kind of girly, but they didn't have anything else. The other ones they had was like teal and purple and I think like a pink one. So this was the only one that I could find that was would be doable for a casein for like a neutral color so i thought this is really cute and i'm really excited to use it it was only $6.99 at target if you guys go to target and you want something like this um i would check the pacifier kiosk area and see if they have this one it's in the brand yulu blue i think um and this is what it looks like so if you have a daughter i feel like this would probably be a good one for your little one so another big thing that i really wanted to get him for christmas besides like the little things that i figured that we needed um i did want to get him books and that's because i do read to my son almost every single night um at least for bath night we do and i wanted to get him more books because I felt that it it's just good to read to your babies um, at an early age and I didn't want to just get any book I just wanted a, I wanted a development book and my big thing about the Christmas gifts this year for Kaysen was the fact that I needed development stuff I needed stuff for him to really grow and do um, like see things that he will start developing on and that was one of the books that I got so I got a huge pack of books from Costco yesterday. Um, it is called the Alpha Prince Library, and it comes with different books here. It comes with animals, colors, farm, numbers, on the go, opposites, um, what does that say? Shapes and words. And pretty much what it is, is it shows everything like what kind of different words they can be seen later in the future um, numbers colors everything all that stuff and it comes in all in one it was $16.99 at Costco but honestly I think it's so worth it um, I was planning on just going to Barnes and Nobles and just getting him different books or like going to Burlington or TG Maxx and just finding him development books but at the same time it was like why would I do that if I can go to Costco and get a whole pack of it? So, worth it. Um, yeah. So, if you are looking for books for your babies this year, and you guys are, or next year, and you guys want something that is not just like a late night story night, or 
yeah a bedtime story and you want something for when you can go ahead and show them and kind of like have them try to start learning then Costco is the way to go and especially because you get all of these right here and apart from books one thing that we did go ahead and get him that was really important that we wanted to get especially because he's at my mom's house and he needs like toys there too um we did get him a fisher price little rattle and tan tambourine tan yeah tambourine little set that has a mirror and the reason why this is super important for me to get for him is because he is already um, on his playmat already he's really getting really active with it and is super smiley he's talking um and even when i showed this to him at first when i first grabbed it from the cart he absolutely fell in love with it and started smiling so it was really important that i did get this because he is just getting to that point of his growing or growing chart that he is starting to really be really active and really understanding him like looking in the mirror the colors and the rattles for him to start smiling and start being active with each other so is really important and i only i think i only got this at tj maxx for i want to say it was not that expensive it was like ten dollars i think yeah it was ten dollars for this whole set and again it has a mirror and kason loves looking at himself in the mirror to be honest so yeah worth it guys and another toy thing that we got for him so i already have something for his stroller that he can use for him to really like be active again because like i said he's really getting to that age where he's being really alert and loves looking at his toys so i ended up getting him this this disney baby buzz lightyear little toy for his stroller um this one might go to cody's stroller or cody's car seat but this one just has like little toys are here has a little like bell and shaker thing that has a noise and then this one has a noise too so he can play with it when he's in the car seat and have it with him plus i like toy story and i hope he likes toy story so that's why i got it okay and the last of the clothes so casing got this from my mom um this is a dinosaur onesie it's I think it's super cute. Kaysen loves, like, we have a lot of dinosaur stuff for Kaysen, and I think that's totally cute. Um, his definitely theme is, like, dinosaurs slash sloths slash zoo animals, but um, that's just that's just my son. I mean, like, I don't have to put him in one's exact theme, but this is just one of the themes that he has, but it has a little bib as well, and then a little hat that matches with the onesie in the back. And then it comes with another onesie right here, and then some pants right here. So I think this one's in a six months, so he won't be wearing this until a little bit later, but I figured that it was very cute for my mom, and I'm actually excited for him to wear it. And, okay, so these last few things that Kason got from my aunt-in-law, so to confirm, or not confirm, to clarify and tell you guys, this my aunt-in-law is the one that got me the stroller she's the one that got case in a hydro flash she's the one that got me all the costco diapers she absolutely spoils my son and i'm so grateful for her honestly um she even told me herself that she loves buying for case so i thought it was really cute and honestly we're just so grateful for her for everything that she has gave us um so these next few items are super super cute one of the first things that Kason actually got um was this little man hat from little i think it's called little trucking tiny trucker baby is what it's the company is called and it's really cute because it has a little logo there and all they can see is him wearing his hat backwards with his little outfits um i think he probably won't be able to wear this until he's a toddler but oh, it's so cute and i actually really wanted kason to have a hat that was like this and when i saw this i was just like oh my gosh i have to get it so i was so happy when i got this because this was something that i wanted kason to have later on when he was a toddler so i'm so happy and so grateful that my aunt-in-law actually got this for us and then any other little cute stuff that we got from her was we got this little panda shirt. Um, super cute. I think it's from the brand Minimo. 
but it's in 18 months it's like a really thick sweater really soft and honestly super cute and then another shirt that says be happy which again i'm sorry i keep saying this but super cute and and also in the 18 months it's actually really soft too so i feel like this is going to be a really cute one for him to wear um especially if he wears one of those that hat with it and then he also got little pants like little jogger pants that look really cute that's probably going to match with the little panda shirt that we have so this is cute too again it's in 18 months so um should work out really well for when he's older because we don't we do have a lot of 18 month clothing but not a ton so this is going to be really effective even though i don't have a dresser for his clothes i just wanted to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching again we are just so grateful for everything that we got from for him um and then also because we wanted to spoil him a little bit and get stuff that we really needed if this is stuff that you do want to get for your future baby for christmas or if you are currently last minute shopping like i think these would be great gifts for your baby but again you guys don't have to follow this but it's just everything that we got my son for christmas so um yeah but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here please subscribe if you like to if you are into motherhood videos um my vlogs like seeing stuff like me cleaning or whatever the heck i do like be a dental assistant or when i am being a dental assistant and other stuff then subscribe if you like to but i also do little sit down videos like this where i show you guys hauls that i got and stuff that i got for my son and in no way shape or form am i trying to brag of what we got this is just everything that we got for christmas for our son so we are just grateful and we're really grateful that we had case in this year and Honestly, this is our first Christmas and me and Cody could not be any more excited to spend time with our first as a family for the first time. Um, so with that said, guys, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas um, or happy Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate. Just a happy holidays and a happy new year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.